Everyone, quick! Sin spawn! Sorry about that. Hope to break you in a little slower. B b being a guardian's tiring. You handle yourself pretty well. You got talent. Hey. So, what are these sin spawn anyway? Fiends. They fall from Sin's body and are left behind in its wake. Leave him alone and Sin comes back for him. You gotta be quick. That moment when Waka told me I had talent in battle. I think that was when I started seriously considering becoming a guardian.
So, uh, they got fiends in Zanarkand, too? Just a few. It's a big deal when one shows up, though. Uh, hey, since when have you believed me about Xanarkand anyway? I've been thinking. Maybe people Sin gets to don't die. Maybe Sin carries them through time, like a thousand years through time. And then one day, maybe they just pop back, see? Amazing. Simply amazing. Hmm? You make up one theory after another, refusing to face the simple truth. Sin didn't take Chapu anywhere. Sin crushed him and left him on the Jose shore. Your brother won't just pop back. Oh, and one more thing. No matter how much you want it, no one can take Chapu's place. No one can replace Sir Jack, for that matter. And there's no replacement for Lord Braska either. It's pointless to think about it. And sad. I... I could never be what Chapu was. Well, stuff happens. Best not to worry. Waka, Lulu, and Waka's brother, Chapu. Something had happened between them a long time ago. I was sure of it. Well, whatever it was, it was none of my business, that's for sure. Best not to go there. Here to pray for victory too. Us pray? Who needs to pray? The Luca goers always win. Oh yeah? Then why are you here? We've been praying for some competition this year. So what's your goal this time? You gonna do your best again? Ha! It's too bad your best isn't good enough. Why even bother showing up? This time we play to win. Hmm. Ooh, play away. Just remember, even kids can play, boys. See you in the finals! We'll beat them. We have to. You know that, team? Putting people down. They're as bad as my old man. But Sir Jekt was a kind and gentle man. Well, not my Jekt. Uh... Even ten years after he left. Just thinking about my old man got me angry. <laughs> but maybe that was just my way of keeping him... <laughs> nah.
I think Waka needs to do a little more praying. Lord O'Holland, guide our feet. A summoner, are you? My name is Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. Donna? So, you're High Summoner Braska's daughter. That's quite a name to live up to. My, my, my. And all these people are your guardians? <laughs> my, what a rabble. As I recall, Lord Braska had only two guardians. Quality over quantity, my dear. <laughs> Whatever were you thinking? I have need of only one guardian. Right, Bartello? I only have as many guardians as there are people I can trust. I trust them all with my life. To have so many guardians is a joy and an honor. Even more so than being my father's daughter. Of course, I would never think of questioning your ways either. So, Lady Donna, I ask of you, please leave us in peace. You do what you want, Bartella, we're leaving. <sighs> A guardian is someone a summoner can rely on. Someone she can trust with her life. I wondered, did Yuna feel that way about me? What's she smiling about? The Faith is below. Let's do it! The Faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. No! Oh. Da! Ah. Hey, what gives? You're not a Guardian yet. Um... We'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. Where's Yuna? Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Hey, wait! Ah, let me go! Go! Hey, what's a big idea? Just a little game. Huh? This is bad. Really bad.
Only guardians allowed. And I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now.
Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The Faith, remember? Oh yeah, that thing, right. The Faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now, they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the Faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat Sin. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo! Oh. Just wait. Something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come.